Hello, let's take two minutes to set up and create an interactive fill in the blanks question right inside PowerPoint. This way you guys can start receiving real time responses from your audience. Plus, we can add a countdown timer and even award points to those who got the answer correct. All right, let's go ahead and start that timer. Step number one in adding a fill in the blanks question in your PowerPoint is to use ClassPoint. So ClassPoint is a PowerPoint add-in that will make your presentations more interactive and engaging. You can sign up for an account and download and install for free at classpoint.io. Step number two is to create your question. So you can open up a blank PowerPoint file or open up one that you already have that you want to make more interactive and engaging. So I have one opened up here and where you wanna place the question, we can just go ahead and add a new slide and then you can type out your text. You can see here that I've just added some dashes to represent my blanks. Then if you wanna add a word bank for your audience to take a pick of some words that you've already listed, you can go ahead and do that. But for this example, I wanna really check my audience understanding, so I'm not gonna add one. Which leads us to step number three, making this interactive. To do that, we can go to the Inkno Class Point tab, click on the fill in the blanks icon up here to add our button on our slide. Then the side panel opens that we can customize to make this question our own. So I have one, two, three, four, five blanks. So I can click on five and they all have a correct answer. So I can go ahead and fill those in. It is important to note that you can add multiple correct answers by just hitting enter and then typing in your next one. And they can also be a mix of words and numbers. Then we can choose to hide our participant names when looking at those responses if we want, and then also add an auto close timer onto this question. That way our question will close after 60 seconds. Perfect, we finished setting up the question in under two minutes, so now let's test it out. So step number four is to test it out or just go ahead and run it with your audience. To do that, you can enter PowerPoint presentation mode. Then to receive those live responses from your audience, we'll need them to join our ClassPoint class. So you can click on the class code up at the top and they can scan the QR code or use any web browser and type in classpoint.app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a window here. That way we can see both the participant side and the presenter side. So here I just need to type in our class code, then your name and we are ready to go. So let's move this to one side and our student to the other. Perfect. Then when you're ready to begin your question, we can go ahead, click on the fill in blanks button on your window and you'll be able to see anyone who's joined in your class can begin responding. On the participant side over here, you see the place where you can submit your answers as well. So let's go ahead and type these out quick. Excellent. Then once it's submitted, we'll be able to see our responses over here. So on this side, let's go ahead and make this bigger again. We can review all of the responses. So either after your timer has closed or you close it on your own, you'll be able to automatically see which answers are correct and which answers are wrong from all of your participants. To go a little bit deeper, we can show the correct answer here and we'll see the correct percentage rate of who got this question correct. Now we can go ahead and award some stars to all of those who got it correct. If you have multiple interactive quiz questions throughout your presentation, you can add a little bit of competition and motivation with your students when you show them the leaderboard. So this will rank all the students based on the number of stars they got. For more information on ClassPoint's gamification features, you can check out the video linked up above or down below. Otherwise, to review your responses after the question is done, you can click back into the green button here or back in PowerPoint edit mode when you're on your slide. In the side panel again, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the review responses button. Otherwise, that is it. You can now run an interactive fill in the blanks question right inside your PowerPoint presentation. Subscribe to the ClassPoint channel for more information on ClassPoint and other ed tech tips and tricks.